G'day mate, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included in our lovely, lovely rocketry program, which is slowly getting upgraded. So, let's start with a few things that happened between episodes. So, going backward, we're going to start down here. We're going to start down here with our Slate Wheat Farm. I spent, I don't know how many cycles convincing, slowly, slowly, painfully convincing an army of pips to plant this. It's not complete. But it's mostly complete. In fact, it's complete enough that we can actually disable harvest. Yeah, we can disable harvest for a whole lot. And we can actually seal this in. Oh, no, I can't. I can't seal it in just yet. I need to actually pump the room full of carbon dioxide. Because there's always a dupe that always has to fart. And we've got a bit of natural gas and other things down here. So... I need to plumb into here a whole pipe of carbon dioxide, which we're then going to fill up with... Yeah, fill, fill the whole room with CO2, and then we should be good to go. And unfortunately, some idiots put a pipe here already. Several pipes here already. Um, you know what? We're just going to have some frosty dupes. It's not as if we haven't done worse things to them. Uh, okay, gas bridge, gas pipe, gas vent, copy button, there, 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 that copy, oh, okay, it's got a brick there. Okay, so we're just going to fill this in with a whole bunch of gas vents, and then eventually I'll, f I'll add a CO2 line to it, or actually... Let's just find a CO2 line right now. Um, I've actually got a couple of CO2 lines because a couple of things have happened. Uh, CO2 lines there. Right about here will do us. Uh, we're going to do a gas bridge in that direction. And you're going up as well, aren't you? Yep. Just disconnect that. Disconnect that. And... Uh, actually, let's not disconnect that. Let's put that back up. Because we can go over that one. And just bring that to there for the moment. Okay. So, got this up and running. Um, I also changed over the cooling. Originally, I was trying to cool down the water and trying to hit that magic. Sleet wheat requires something bet between minus 55 and minus 5 degrees. No, 55 degrees at minus 55 and 5 degrees, which is really hard to hit. It's a really narrow margin when you're using water for your cooling. If you use oil or something else, you can really chill them down a whole a whole heap. But I'm trying to hit that between 0 and 5 degrees. So what I actually have here is I have our aqua tuna running down to 7 degrees. So if the water's hotter than 7 degrees, it's then going to take 14 degrees off it. Which hopefully doesn't turn our salt water into brine because that's something I found out uh, that they've changed. That if you take salt water down to under seven and a half degrees, it turns into brine. Which means I might actually have to change out the coolant in this loop because it's all salt water. If it was brine to start with, I just have to have to keep it between. Well, actually, funnily enough, okay. So, go click that. Click Brian. Brian goes all the way up to 102 degrees. The same as... Oh, no, salt water goes slightly less. So, if I take it to Brian, I can go down to minus 22 and up to 102, and it doesn't change from Brian to salt water. So, yeah. Um, figure that. So we need to set that down to five degrees and hope it doesn't break anything. I have a feeling it's going to break things because technically it's heating, it's bringing this water down. It's taking 14 degrees off it and it's bringing it down to like 7.3, which is really close. Um... So hopefully we're okay. Um, this is going to be tricky. And then I have a, a thermocoupler. So this is a bunch of aluminium tiles with... Okay. We've got aluminium... Um, 
radiant pipe, which will then dump our cooling into this giant tank of uh, salt water, which has some temp shift plates in there as well, to transfer the cool into these aluminium tiles, to then potentially transfer the cool into these um, airlock doors, uh, to then transfer the cool into these aluminium tiles, to then put it into these temp shift plates, into these radiant pipes, and cool down our water. Um, it's been going for like 20, 30, 50 cycles already to bring down the temperature in this room. Um, if you remember, it started off as, as a very hot. It's now very, very cold. It's still not cold enough to get the sleet wheat to start growing yet, um, which means like this has been planted. I brought the temperature down to like 20 degrees because I didn't want to kill the, kill the pips either. Then... Set up the cooling, increase the cooling, and it's been running ever since, and it's still not cold enough. So, yeah, that's part number one. Part number two, I kept running out of power, believe it or not. With everything we've got going, um, it, we actually drained all these liquid reservoirs that were full of ethanol by running all these petroleum generators, and we were running into severe power problems. Um, in fact... I actually think I'm going to start running into some severe power problems with these steam turbines. Because if you remember, their cooling is set up from these pipes, which just ran through this giant tank of water. The problem is this giant tank of water is getting smaller. And this saltwater geyser is now active and pumping out 95 degree salt water into the mix. So yeah, um, things are not going well. Ah, uh, that's probably the best way of putting things. So, that's where we're up to with this problem. Um, these are going to need some active cooling. They have sucked the thermal heat out of, like, the whole magma biome. Like, you know, that's the halfway point of the map. Not where our printing bot is, but, you know, about here. So, we've done at least half the map. We've sucked all the heat out of it. You know, it's still 1300 degrees or something in, in, in most spots, but we've definitely cooled it a lot by just finding this already established steam air, you know, steam room, steam chamber, whatever you want to call it, and just sucking the steam out of it slowly, um, running the turbines, and then dumping the water back in the room to, to, to cool the area ever so slowly. It's still blistering hot, but it's no longer 500 plus degrees blistering hot. Um, and this has been running for properties, uh, 900 cycles, 900 cycles. We've been doing this to like solidify the magma biome. Um, see, I'm, I'm really happy to just keep running this. I'm just going to have to add some sort of active cooling to all these turbines, which is then going to cost power which then may, may negate how much power these guys are generating, which is, seems to be the theme that we've been going with. You know, we keep, like, I've added this aqua tuna to make sure our thimble reeds, because we set up this farm, um, these thimble reeds stay cool. Luckily, I don't think this has ever run. Um, it just hasn't had to, because the water has been, the water I originally pumped in was cool enough and is staying cool enough. Um, it will eventually heat up to a point where it needs to run. But yeah, you know, this hasn't run too much. But on the other hand, like, this one making liquid oxygen is running an awful lot. Um, this one, which is cooling, well, it's cooling our oxygen. It's cooling this whole strip of the base so we can put in some plants, basically, for the fun of it. Uh, that are still too hot, actually. Uh, 48 degrees, yeah, they're still too hot. Uh, our coolant is still 49, 48 degrees. Uh, what are you set down to? 12, 20. Yeah. Um, even with all that, it's still too hot. And we're using a lot of power. Basically, we're using a lot of power here. Our oxalate refinery is using a lot of power. We're wasting power, basically. Um, excessive amounts of power. In fact, I set up a coal generator room over here, which is dumping CO2 out to space. Come on, let's save. Yeah. Um, it's dumping its CO2 out of space, basically, because it can. Um, they're all being tuned up with a power control station, which is using iron, because I just have 
incredible amounts of iron and nothing to do with it um and at the same time gets duplicates some experience and yeah it's just been running non-stop um which is fine because the coal that actually comes to fill it uh comes from this conveyor loader which it's dropped down here from space so all the coal we're getting from space no longer gets shipped to central storage because we have hunt whoa, whoa. 1187 tons of coal um so yeah i figured we'd just like have a coal generator room because we can and these guys pump out uh pump out carbon dioxide at 110 degrees which is fine because they're all made out of no they're all made out of copper okay that's not fine Deconstruct buildings, Friday nine. All you guys, all you guys. They're meant to be made out of steel, so I need to go fix that. Okay, so what else have we done? Uh, we have. Can I make that out of plastic? I could. Eh, whatever. Um, I have upgraded this because we were dumping solid carbon dioxide that comes from space right here, and it was sitting there forever. I have dumped some petroleum on the ground because all our jeeps are in atmos suits anyway so it doesn't really matter and that's providing cooling into both the super coolant in the background it was actually cooling the super coolant at one stage it doesn't look like it's really doing that anymore but at the same time it's now cooling this steel this battery which was hooked up to our coal generators power coal generator out of steel because we're not at all short in steel there, 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 and there. Um, I really wish I could... Hmm. I'm now worried that auto-sweeper... Uh, let's just move these over a tile. I'm worried this auto-sweeper can't reach this coal generator. Oh, but then you can't reach the backup bin. Eh, fine, whatever. Um, we'll just remake the amount of steel. Okay, so that's happened. Um, and then I, yeah, I extended our natural gas generators because we have 5.6, 5 5.5 tons per tile of natural gas down here. Um, so we had these natural gas generators running and I just extended that down to put in another set, hooked up to the same automation, just to give us for a boost of power. At the same time, I have started finally emptying our CO2 pit, um, or our CO2 tank, and dumping it in here with two viscogel liquid locks. So the CO2 can't get out, and in theory I can pressurize this room to whatever I want, and on top of that, I've brought down all these pedestals of really hot material. Uh, all this space material. Which is hopefully... You know, it's got... A mangled saxophone. Has very bad thermal conductivity. Okay-ish uh, thermal capacity. But it's really hot. And there's lots of them. Um... So, yeah, I'm hoping that they will slowly heat up the room. Um, and more importantly, like, cool themselves down. Because 200 degrees, 500 degrees, 400 degrees, 250, 500, 200, 150, 250, yeah. I, I'm hoping they actually heat up the carbon dioxide. So when our slicksters finally give birth lay whatever you want to call it um we can then uh i just remembered that i didn't actually put mesh tiles in there so i need to build another floor of plastic then build mesh tiles so co2 doesn't get out to then put in a pump to pump out the oil not that we really need the oil but like it's right here so why not uh but yeah i just wanted somewhere to dump basically lots of co2 and have some slicksters hopefully deal with it uh that's bad okay we're gonna deconstruct no i'm gonna cancel that if i clip that and put that into there instead 
Okay, so I'd have to clip that one as well. No, I have to... Oh, that's going to be so confusing. Yeah, let's just deconstruct that. Okay. No. Turns out that didn't work because the room finally overpressurized. Um, yeah, I forgot a high pressure vent can only go up to something ridiculous. But obviously not ridiculous enough. Uh, we're going to need a ladder right there. I'm going to need mesh tiles from there to there to let the oil through. And uh, if I put in a mini liquid pump like that, and power there, there, right about there somewhere. Uh, okay, so that's happened. That's happened. That's happened. Up in our space program. Oh, hang on. Our poopy box. Our poopy box is going great. As you can see, we have just a few mobs to spare. Um, we are bringing out mostly oxygen. Occasionally, we get little bits of polluted oxygen popping out. Um, Gas-wise, well, yeah. We're, we're now producing so much oxygen that our poor mini pumps never turn off. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're producing a whole heap of oxygen. We combine it all together. We're dumping it into the base. We're also dumping it down here because we just had obscene amounts of oxygen. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, that's right. What we're going to do... Uh, let's put a priority in there and hook that up to there. That'll fix our CO2 problems. Uh, I want to... Disconnect, 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 disconnect. Because I want to start filling from the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm really wishing I just ran the pipe in from the other end. Can I do that? Can I just run the pipe? Yeah, dupes, you know how you just built this whole giant pipe thing? Turns out you did it wrong. Because uh, that way it's automated. That way I, just, I don't have to worry about I don't have to come back and, and, and fix it or anything. It'll just happen. Uh, that one. That one. And then I'll splice those three apart. gas pipe no which means I can reconnect all those oh uh, so that'll bring in our co2 it'll pump it into the bottom and it will basically fill this from the bottom up I'm um, hopefully pushing all the natural gas out at least that's what I hope for yeah we're, we're gonna see what happens um, so yeah, that's that job taken care of. That's that job taken care of. Um, we are producing a little bit more power, but we're still not doing great, to be honest. Um, really, I need to set up a petroleum um, power, uh, because power, 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 power. Petroleum generator uses... Two kilograms per second of petroleum. I'm making 10 with our petroleum boiler. Um, and gives us... Two kilowatts worth of power, which I can actually overclock with the dupes to three kilowatts. So that's potentially 30 kilowatts worth of power. Which I think is more than the whole base is capable of using. Potential load, 16. Mm, current load. I saw that at 18. Uh, yeah, the, the current load often goes over the potential load. Either way, um, yeah, I, I, petroleum, 
a petroleum generator room like this is high on the cards but I need to sort of fix up food still and I definitely want to make it in space. I want to make it in space same as I did over here so I just don't have to deal at all with the um set all you guys to 100% um yeah I just don't want to deal with the um CO2 because slicksters normally you go food wise for, for a large base you normally go hatches then you make a pass over to slicksters because you have you have slicksters anyway and they make f oh that's not gonna work Yeah, we'll have to do that. Because I need to get the pump in here before I put in that mesh tile. Um, yeah, you have slicksters, you have CO2 anyway. It's a byproduct, it's a waste product, so you have that. So you can then use that to... You guys can't build that, can you? You stupid tubes. Stupid tubes. Uh, deconstruct. Uh, plumbing, I want a mini liquid pump, which goes there, which has a power, goes there, I got one of the two, right? Uh, put a ladder in there, after you've put in that pipe, good, we're done, yep, get your head out from in there. That's priority nine. You're priority like three. Three. Let's go with three. Is it warm down there, is it? Yeah, it's not that warm. Oh, oh, you're a smart dupe. That'll get that pipe put in or plumbing put in. Fine. God, can't leave you lot unsupervised for even half a second. Uh, is there anything else? Yep. Okay. You should bring CO2. You should bring CO2. 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 That part's not built. Ah, they'll get to it. At least they can get in here. It's still not quite cold enough. Uh, this side's down to four degrees. I don't see any broken pipes, so I think everything's running fine. Okay, leave that problem alone. So, as I was saying, space. No, I was saying new printables. Uh, I'm just printing off whatever the care package is because I don't... I can't have more dupes, basically. The game's just got too slow. So, I have this oxygen pipe that needs to come all the way through here because we finally, finally have some insulation. Um, so, I need to get a gantry, put a gantry there, put a gantry there. Uh, okay. I need to put a gantry there and a gantry there. I need to deconstruct those two and those two. And I basically need the gantries done now. Because after this gantry is done, I then need to hopefully have a dupe deconstruct these two tiles. I put in another gantry to get the piping here for these two rockets. Uh, and a piping here, it turns out as well. Uh, rotate that way. And a gantry down here, it turns out. Uh, okay, so after those pipes are in, we should be good. We should be able to fill up this rocket and this rocket. I have two more rocket engineers. Okay, I have two more rocket engineers, and I have a rewind in space. Except rewind in space is meant to be in this rocket and consumables uh we won actually i think they're probably auto sorted to the bottom yeah and it says rewind in space is actually in space except i have him in the list 
I, I can pick him. So we're not going to in case the game explodes, which is generally what happens with oxygen included if you select something that it's not meant to do. Rather than throwing some sort of error message, it just explodes everywhere. So yeah, we're going to set up our next two rockets. Um, These are just full of cargo bays, nothing else, because we've done research on this one and this one. They both carry fullerene. Uh, that one carries fullerene. And that one carries isoresin and niobium, which we don't need. That one also carries fullerene. So we can pick steel, copper, and glass, or... Copper ore, sedimentary rock, igneous rock, and fullerene. Or we can pick more carbon, coal, and diamond with fullerene. I think we're actually going to take the steel, the copper, and the glass. Because the steel is going to be helpful. Along with the sedimentary and igneous rock. Because again, they're going to be helpful. Um, so yeah, I need to get two more astronauts. Uh, we're going to set you to... You're set to Explorer. I need to rename you two okay you're called what explorer uh and uh nuke that's all i remember uh it's emperor nuke isn't it yeah it is and your nulls uh Okay, so we've got two next two astronauts, uh, astronauts sorted. Um, we've renamed both those. These should automatically set up to Nuke and Nulls. Uh, if I put another gantry thing there, we can hopefully connect up the last of these pipes. Um, because, yeah, that's literally what we're waiting on. A couple of pipes, and then these rockets are good to go. They've already got their automation top and bottom. Uh, star map. They're going to go to that one and that one, which means you're set to 900 kilograms, you're set to 900, you're 0, 0, 0, and 0, you're 900, you're 900. It's pretty simple and pretty easy. Um, so yeah, we got more rockets going to space, uh, more conveyor crap coming back. What else is there? Uh, all the conveyor lines join together. Uh, pipes going in now. Ah, uh, food. Food. That's what we had to do. So, we have regolith. We have a whole bunch of regolith that falls here. This regolith we can use to feed shovels. Lots and lots of shovels. On top of that, uh, I have regolith over here already that I could use to feed shovels. Um, there's like a fair bit of regolith in these boxes. Um, and that is also, why is there water on the floor? You dirty, dirty chips. Why are you sleeping there? Why is there low oxygen? Oh, you're just having me sitting in a CO2 pit. That would explain it. Uh, maybe you should go that way. Stinson. And have more oxygen. Going to build? Okay, you go build something then. So yeah, I have regolith here and I have regolith here. On top of that, I have this regolith here. So this is all freshly fallen from space. I'm not sweeping it. I'm not taking care of it. It just stacks up. So I could also take this regolith. Now I need to have, I need somewhere to process a regolith and here, well, I need somewhere to keep the shovels. Here would be a really good spot, except I can't put anything within 15 tiles of the space scanner, which is there where the two solar panels are. So I'd have to build it below that spot, which there's just not enough room. I could blow it, build it here, which is in the exhaust of the rockets, which would probably be a bad spot. Um, so what I'm thinking is we're going to do like a two birds, one stone. I have a giant petroleum pipe that's already coming all the way along here to fill up these rockets. Now, if I just add on the end of that pipe, 
all my petroleum generators, then as long as I prioritize it to go past the generators first, or maybe onto the generators, depending on what I decide, then we should be good. So that's what I'm thinking. I am just going to put the petroleum generators like right here. Um, if it's that much space, that much space is probably heaps, which means I'm going to have a spot where I'm not actually creating hot exhaust, which is exactly what I want. I want an area that has no hot exhaust that I can then put a shovel farm. So we're going to plan out a shovel farm this episode. Um, yeah, shovel farms have a couple of requirements. One is you have to get in from them to the, from the top because the little buggers spew out regolith and regolith is like sand it falls so as long as the doors at the top they can't spew out the regolith onto the door and block the door and stop your dupes either getting in or out so you need to make the door at the top so that's requirement number one uh requirement number two is going to be changing out can i just change this over by stamping over the top i don't think i can uh, is going to be changing over these power wires to, um, oh, and I want to insulate it. I don't need to insulate. No, I'm going to need to insulate that side. All right. So actually before we do that, okay. So that's four tile, four tile, four tall. No, I'm going to want that gone. Okay. Uh, I'm going to replace the floor. I'm going to do stations, that's what I wanted, power, we want heavy, we want joint plate, out of gold, right there to reconnect the two networks, because that is a refined metal plate, um, the, 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 the little guys can't dig through it, uh, and just for the record, it is still hot up here, really hot. Um, I'm not sure why it's so hot. There's just some really hot tiles for no reason whatsoever. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's still toasty up here. Uh, actually, we might have the door at this end. <sighs> okay, so Chevals have no... No... Overcrowding. They don't, they don't get overcrowded ever. So you can pretty much jam as many as you want into as small a room as you, you want. So that's sort of my intention. My sort of intention is to just seal in this room fairly small, fairly tight, and uh, deal with the consequences. Well, there won't be any consequences, but deconstruct that one. Another joint plate there, just as you managed to hook up one side, I broke the other side. Uh, and on top of that, they don't actually need oxygen either. Um, they don't need any sort of atmosphere. So we're going to do this whole thing in a vacuum, I think. Um, I'm not going to bother pressurizing it or anything like that. I'm just going to do the whole thing basically in space. Because uh, why not? Uh, Alright, so in there we're going to need food. I'm going to need a critter drop-off. Uh, I'm going to put in a, a grooming station. But I'm going to disable them, because I don't think I want them running. Uh, Shipping-wise, I'm going to need conveyor chutes. I'm going to want, out of iron, probably two. Uh, I'm also going to want a Robo Miner. And again, same story, I want this hanging from the roof. Uh, so the Chevals can't puke on the Robo Miner and block it. Because when they puke out, they actually puke out a potentially a solid tile of Regolith. Um, now it will fall as you know you you same as when you dug a dig under sand um so yeah it will fall so no it's not hard to rotate it's still oh um 
So yeah, if, if they puke it onto the Robo Miner, it will fall away. So it's something I don't have to worry about. And yes, I am making a Thermium, so I don't have to worry about cooling the damn thing. I'm hoping whatever atmosphere we just dump in this room is enough to cool everything. So, shipping wires. We're going to want a conveyor rail. I'm going to want to go up and up and across. Because potentially I'm going to have two rails worth of regolith coming in. Uh, actually, we might bring that back down away from the worst of the rocket exhaust. Uh, that one, that one. Um, we're going to hook it straight up to the heavy watt wire. No harm, no foul. We're going to insulate in the bottom of it. Thoroughly. Um, we'll get the first row done first. And then I'm going to need ladders there. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, so food wise. Now, I can't have this conveyor loader, which is shipping out everything, basically. Everything that's not regolith. Now, I really want to update that system, and I'm thinking. An automatic dispenser is the way to go. Because it produces 1.25 DTUs worth of heat, so almost nothing. Whereas a conveyor loader does 2,000 DTUs worth of heat. So I'm thinking if I put one there and one there. And then bear with me, bear with me. We put a automatic dispenser. Uh, you're going to have to go. And I put an automatic dispenser here and here. Uh, does it need to be there? No, I just need one here. Potentially put one there and put a second auto sweeper in. could put it all the way up there. Like, it overheat because it's not going to have any cooling. Um, because, yeah, I did end up putting in temp shift plates. Temp shift plates are purely to absorb some of the heat mass from the rockets um, when they launched. And I then put petroleum on the floor, which has slowly been either burnt off or evaporated. Well, burnt off mainly. Um, and turned into sour gas, which has then broken and heated everything. It, it, it's been a disaster. Um, so yeah, we need this one gone, and then I'm going to put a, a dropper there. So the idea is this auto super can then put stuff in the dropper, have it drop it out one tile to the left, so then this auto super can pick it up. Uh, want to make dispenser out of thermium, so I don't have to worry about overheat temperatures. Yes, we have 31 tons of the stuff. Um, this base wants for nothing. Except maybe a power connection right there. Uh, so I want to bring that line into there. And I want to take that line further in. Up another tile. What is that? That is return from the rockets. Uh, something around about there. I should bring that up that side so it's less hassle for me whenever I decide to do more work along there. Okay, done. So I'm going to have the dispenser will let this auto super grab stuff, shove it in the dispenser for it to fall out closer to, to this auto super where it can get it, grab it. And then I'm going to have two conveyor loaders basically so I can sort things. So I can set everything that I don't want to base 
in this one, and then just the regolith in this one. And we're going to set you to all. Uh, oh, that didn't work. That auto switch was too close. Okay. Yeah, this auto switch is going to have to move over one time. Because I can't have it touch the dispenser. It gets itself in the loop. Uh, let's stand here. Yeah. So as you can see, it's it's literally just putting in a ton at a time. Oh, you can reach that one as well. Okay. Uh, that's fine, actually. We can just rotate them. And build it like that. Off some ice, sure, why not? Uh, okay, so that goes there. We have an auto save now. Nine hundred kilos. Nine hundred kilos. You sh should. Oh, now you're gonna need a little bit more. Uh, one one five zero, which means you're at two fifty. Uh, copy settings to there. Steel Cemetery Rock. That's the one I want. So I'm going to send Emperor Nuke to the right. And Niles. He's still waiting on his rocket to fill up. Oh, 1150. Uh, that's already set to 250. That's your destination. Launch path blocked. You're good to go. Launch mission. Alright, so that's two more rockets done. Two more rockets off the ground. Gotta get more full rain to get more super coolant. We have a fair bit of super coolant, but I want more. I really want more. I just want more. I want more of everything. Um... Okay, have they been done? Nope. Crunch. You failed, Rocket. Automation. Uh, and that wire broke. Okay, we're going to make you out of Thermion. I'm going to join those two together. <coughs> you know what? I think we're just going to remove that. We're going to remove that. And I'm just going to put two Hydro sensors there and there. So I can manually open and shut the doors. That just seems like the safer way of going. Because whatever automation I add always leads to something getting hit with an asteroid at high speed. Uh, can you stop? Stop that, please. Uh, and just for the record, it's what? Uh, carbon dioxide at 3,000 degrees. Uh, yeah. Everything down here gets a little bit warm. Including the bugger doors, which occasionally get damaged from the rocket exhaust. Even though their overheat temperature is like 1,000 degrees. Uh, 1,200, 1,300... 1400 gas vent no problem it's perfectly happy it is made out of thermium but it's perfectly happy uh okay above red place close doors um, 
Oh, there's one button. Alright, you should be able to set to everything. You should be a level 9 repair, please. Uh, damage overheating. Really? Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, you're in that three tile. Uh, it's alright, we'll just make you out of a more exquisite material. Uh, 200. Cathod. Uh, below. Above. Whatever it is to shut the door. 280. No. They're both going to be made out of exquisite space age material. So we'll put that there, we'll put that there. Yeah, so it's picking up regular from here, put it in there, and it's then shipping it just outside that auto super's range. Uh, and unfortunately, you don't have anywhere to ship stuff yet. Uh, you boys are ready? Mm. Launch. So you go grab more fullerene along with more steel. And you, sir, will also launch for the rocky asteroid. And go. Go. Launch path blocked. Oh, these gantries stick out too far. Uh, um, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Okay, so, whilst the base slowly gets buried with regolith, uh, we should get them off the ground. Oh, no, I can't get a jeep to come build this stuff. Actually, super coolant. Changes at 400 and... No, petroleum's higher than that. Okay, never mind. Uh, so, conveyor loader out of fermium right there. You're going to do filtration medium regolith. Um, somebody repair you. That'd be awesome. Uh, okay, that needs to go his way as well. Are you going to launch now? mission there we go and launch mission all right done now joe Watt needs to find himself a way out of this mess uh he decides to build upwards uh those two Yeah. Alright, with that he should be able to get out. Uh, plumbing is all done. That can go away too. Uh, I don't think anybody can get there without... Oh no, somebody got there. Well, there you go. Alright, so that's done, that's done, that's done. Uh, you guys are done in theory. Uh, oh, there's always one. There's always one. One little thingamajiggy bob that you can't get to. Okay. Uh, yeah, you don't look starving. Uh, JJ might be a little bit starving. 
We need letters for you to get out. Um, you know what? I should probably fill in those ones as well. Um, that's what I want to look at. I want to look at this. So we're down to seven degrees. We're getting there really, really slowly. All right. I'm going to put in a cut here whilst we wait for some of this last construction to get done. And... No, wrong button. Ah, uh, heat overlay. It's toasty in here. Toasty, toasty, toasty. Um, and it's not quite toasty enough for my slicksters. Um, they won't complain, they won't die, but they actually prefer it. 50 to 140, around about 80 or 90 degrees. And we've got 60? Yeah, 60 degrees CO2. So it should be enough, just. Uh, that's raining, that's raining, that one's raining. Yep, so I'm going to put in a cut. I will be back shortly. Uh, oh, wrong button. Well, um, turns out I had to save a Stinson who got stuck on a ladder and has... Don't know where he's got. Um, his P would have, when he took his ladder, his suit off would have dropped into the magic... The magic pee dispensary, which drops it up here with the shovels, who will, um, it'll evaporate into space. Anyway, as I was saying, um, so, I've saved the Simpson, um, I had to put both these gantries back so Jeeps could get it back over here. I'm just replacing these walls, which I've suddenly decided are not worth the hassle. Uh, so as long as Salad walks over it first before he deconstructs it, deconstructs it we can get rid of both these gantries because they'll get crushed when the rockets come back and the rocketry program's up and running um the dupes have come and rebuilt this and as you can see we've shipped everything into this dispenser and then this auto sweeper can grab the regular just here or here or anywhere else and ship it out in here i want to put everything except filtration um What's an egg-shaped rock going on? Genetic ooze. Resources. Miscellaneous. Mm, turns out I have no table salt. Uh, rare resource. Nope. I don't think... Actually, let's look at them. Nope, 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 nope. Um, it'll highlight if it's in that category. Like, industrial ingredient is blah, 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 and data banks. So I can see all the data banks on the map light up if I put my mouse over them. Okay. So, no. Um, but, yeah, in this we can ship everything else. I'm actually going to set that to priority six. And that to priority four. I'd like to ship out everything else first, and then re then the regolith. I have our first few chevals over here. Um, basically, chevals are a nightmare if they get, end up loose on the map. Uh, that's probably important to put back now. Uh, so yeah, chevals are a nightmare if they get loose on the map. So what I actually want to do is I want to um, basically wrangle them one at a time. And follow the dupe who does the wrangling and make sure it ends up where it's meant to be. I also want to turn that off. Um, just in case we happen to print new ones. Because uh, that's really the only way I have to increase their population right this second. Uh, I might... I might end up pulling out one of these grooming stations. Because if I... If I take care of them and I change them from wild to tamed, they consume f food faster, like significantly faster, um, significantly, significantly faster, which is not something I exactly want them to do. Um, so I want to keep them wild, but I'd also like to increase their population to have more meat. Um, actually, well, there we go. So we just, just saw one puked and dropped it on the ground and then... Auto Miner did its job and 
dug it up. And we have 3.7 tons in there already. Uh, I'm meant to be watching this. No. That one. Errands. Unreachable, unreachable, unreachable. Why is it all unreachable? You guys got in here before. Did I lock those doors off the fact? I locked the doors off the fact. Okay. Penning wrangle. Ethan's on his way to come wrangle it. Okay. So, yeah. Um. Yeah, I want to make sure they all get across there. And I want to make sure they do definitely, definitely, definitely do not get lost somewhere on the map. Um. Because that would be bad. And as you can see, because the lag I've got currently... I'm not going to do any of this live, because... Uh, you picked up... Oh. That's right. You're doing eggs still. Uh, let's copy that and put that there. And then I'll copy and paste it across. Uh, you're carrying eggshell. You're carrying eggshell. You're picking up eggs, which you're going to put in this dispenser and dump straight back down the ground. That's fine. Yep, you waste your time and your effort. That's cool. Um, shovel egg. You're picking up through the walls. Like I said, the game is, um... The game is seeing better days. What we're actually going to do is we're probably going to run this series... Probably through to the end of the year. Um, and then... Yeah, you've got the shovel egg. Uh, the shovel. So, we're going to run this right through the end of the year. After the end of the year is done, I think I'm going to end up... Probably starting a new series. Probably starting a new series, doing something a little bit... Oh! I do not actually want shovels in there. We've now decided we'd like to keep the shovels. Uh, yeah, you know, might not survive the night. Anyway, that's where we're going to leave it with the um, first accidental drowning of a shovel. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching. As always, uh, food should now be sorted, hopefully. Um, our ceramic is definitely doing better than it was before we're up to 32 tons after however many cycles this is cooled down to seven degrees yeah there's, there's a lot of thermal mass to cool down on top of that we are slowly filling it with carbon dioxide it's gonna take a while in fact i might reverse these pipes that i just unreversed to just dump all the co2 uh Does that work? Lo and behold, that works. Yeah, I might just dump all the CO2 down there. We've got Slicksters down here, and they are happy-ish. Um, they're not warm enough at 60 degrees, but they should be close enough. As long as I can no, keep bringing in uh, space relics and keep dumping them in this room. It should get the heat up high enough, although I've just had to lock off this door because all of these gas generators got too hot. So I can always put in a, just a simple liquid loop through this room, providing I don't have other liquid pipes in the way, like I do. Um, put in a simple liquid loop in here. Why are you stopped? Oh, that's bad. Why do you have polluted water? What? You're not meant to have polluted water. Oh, okay. I got some problems I need to sort out. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, more catastrophes in the next episode. After the shovels are all moved across here, we should have food sorted. Uh, next episode, definitely going to fix power. Power is, if we look at our main battery bank, yeah, they keep going up and then they plummet. And, yeah, and we've got water in the middle of the base. Who did what? No, no. I don't know. 
I don't know how these duplicates cause these messes sometimes. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to call it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next episode. Um, next episode, power. I'd like I said, we're going to run the series probably to the end of the year. And then I th I've got a good idea. I've got a new idea. I've got a good idea. We'll see how well it pans out. Um, we had a lot of fun this series using duplicates as a somewhat disposable resource. Um, I think we might push that further in the next series. Anyway, that's it. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Bye.